look at me. I become a complete pagan here. <sighs> All right, time for brunch. Hello world, I'm Maya Sendermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far, I have been able to share my experiences on what it's like to live on the autistic spectrum or rather have Asperger syndrome. A second thing that I will do is provide uh, my two cents on uh, what's going on with autism in the media. And a third area entails uh, providing tips and advice for those of you who are on the spectrum. I will also reach out to your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers, and anybody who is inside the autistic community. And finally, I will cover topics on things that I'm passionate about, along with sharing the day in the life of Maya Sendermeyer. So check it out. everyone. I'm Maya Sendermeyer and I'm officially glad to be back. I'm just about to sit down and have myself uh, some uh, brunch this morning since I just did a bunch of meditations and I uh, talked to one friend. We didn't know if we were going to go over to um, another friend's but he just didn't have the means to travel so uh, I am waiting to hear back from my friends and if that doesn't work out, tomorrow I'm just gonna go for Chinese food and then probably just go hit the ice arena. Well, I bet you're wondering why in the world I don't have all my Christmas decor up. I mean, I have lights up, but I don't really uh, celebrate Christmas anymore. I celebrate eight crazy nights and that's already passed. So for me, it's just a year of chilling out. And if I get a chance to go to the ice arena tomorrow, I'll go for cheap Chinese and then probably go to Atlantic Station and maybe shoot some vlog footage of uh, people skating on the uh, rink there in time lapse, which I think could be a lot of fun. And then also just uh, do a bunch of vlogs around town of how dead Atlanta is. So anyway, I wanted to apologize to those of you that are my fans and my subscribers. I have been super busy the last couple months. Number one, I have been uh, trying to uh, keep my grades up in school and then the other one was um, I have been battling with mild depression and I am uh, in the process of trying to take care of myself and I am uh, catching this early and doing what I need to get back on track but I'm not going to let that ruin my life um, and then the other one is that my other uh, phone camera on my other phone just was not top quality anymore and I wanted something that uh, had more features and something that had a clearer picture and so let me give you an example uh, last month I went out to uh, or actually up to Nashville Tennessee to blog for a conference which is uh, put on by Future Horizons and they're a company that uh, sells products related to autism and they publish some books of some really important people such as Dr. Grandin and they also uh, publish a lot of other books by other autistic self-advocates and so uh, I wanted to go up there for that and unfortunately when I was taking those pictures a lot of them turned out blurry and fuzzy and I want something that's top quality and something that will take some really clear pictures that I can just put on my phone and then I can put back onto WordPress. And so I got myself the iPhone SE and so I'm just really happy to have that. Now I do have lots of other footage and I'm, I am going to call this my summer series. And I am on break from work for a couple weeks because Georgia State's closed. So. What I want to do is uh, create a string of uh, summer series videos and I want to put them on YouTube so that I can catch you guys up to some of the things that have been going on in my life. Anyway, what I wanted to do is talk about some uh, uh, things that I did when I was little. Uh, and so I want to define what I mean when I talked about screwing everybody over at, uh, at Christmas time. 
And again, I was a little kid, and the first time I was four years old, I uh, was at my grandmother's house, uh, she lived on a farm, and me, I was, of course, learning about uh, opening up presents and uh, learning what the idea of presents were, and of course, I just loved to uh, get a hold of that wrapping paper, and I like to rip everything open, so when I was in my grandparents' living room, my mom and my grandmother were in the kitchen. There were three presents that were in the living room, and they were stacked up, and I thought they were for me. So I climbed up, and I got a hold of the three presents, and I opened a small one, and it was a little cassette tape, and I didn't know who the man was, and I thought, now who is this? I just remember there was a man standing on there smiling. Perhaps it was um, Willie Nelson or maybe uh, John Denver. I don't remember. And then there were two other presents that I pulled down and I opened them up and they turned out to be the same thing. At first I thought they were dolls with purple hair because back then gem dolls were all the rage and I thought maybe my mom had gotten me some gem dolls because I talked about them all the time. Well, they turned out to be these long purple things that they purple things and they had uh, fibers on them and they turned out to be these feather dusters and I mean it would look just like the one that my grandmother had and so I thought there were toys and things I could play with so I took out the purple things slash feather dusters and I brought them into the kitchen and my mom was outraged or she was sh and shocked oh you're opening somebody else's presents and so she was mad at me and I remember her uh, getting a hold of the presents and defining who they were from, but she sat down and lectured me and she and grandma had to rewrap those presents and meanwhile I do recall having to go upstairs and take a nap. And then the second time was uh, right before Christmas Eve, my parents and I were visiting a brand new uh, church because we moved into a new area and so they were having their Christmas play and we were, of course, we were not in the Christmas play. We were uh, members of the audience. And I remember we were singing In Excelsis Deo. And I remember my mom singing it out loud and turning around to look at her face. Well, she pointed out baby Jesus to me and she pointed out the nativity scene. And of course, me, I had just turned six years old. And I thought that maybe Jesus came back and he come back in the form of a baby just for this play. So. I kept telling my mom I wanted to see baby Jesus. I wanted to see baby Jesus. And so she just kept trying to keep me in my seat. And then when she wasn't looking, I snuck out and I walked down the middle of the aisle and I sat down in front of everybody. And a few of the people who were part of the nativity were really shocked to see me there, but they didn't say anything. Meanwhile, I looked into uh, the manger scene and there was this doll there. There was no Jesus, he was plastic. And so my mom had to come and get me until the end of uh, the service. I mean, she was embarrassed about it. Uh, but my dad, he thought it was the funniest thing ever. Uh, she never really got over that. Oh well. But um, as they say, kids do the darnest things. And so that's how I screwed over everybody's Christmas. I screwed my mom over that year. And I screwed her over and grandma over, over the time I opened up those two presents. So uh, anyway, I'm about to sit down to have breakfast. Um, I'm going to do new vlogs as well as a mixture of ones from the summertime. Uh, but if you like what I'm doing, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Also be sure to share this on social media with your friends and your family members, your peers and your mentors, educators, employers, and anybody in general. I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I'm signing off. Bye.